Uh, what was that moment like for you uh, as you dive into the end zone? Uh, it was definitely definitely a special moment, um, you know, seeing all my teammates celebrate me and just, uh, it's just been quite the process um, coming off the of injury from last season, you know, <laughs> having the red shirt and everything and just trusting in the Lord's plans for me and, you know, really having a, a great opportunity there at the end. Coach Jones came up to me and said, you know, we're going to give you the ball here. We want you to go win the game. And I was just like, you know, you can trust me. Um, I saw the outside. I saw the DN get kind of uh, pinched in. I figured I could bounce it outside and beat him with my speed, and that's what I did. And, man, just God is so good. I'm so thankful. Um, and, you know, what a great team to be surrounded by that, you know, wants to celebrate me like that. Just to see the team react that way, what was that like when you saw them all kind of rushing towards you? Um, it was definitely special. Uh, like, I've been on a lot of teams in my life, never any teams that are this close. Uh, every single one of them is very special to me. I love those guys. Very, like, just an incredible moment. Um, to be able to celebrate with them. It, it wasn't really about me, just like celebrating as a team, you know, really about a successful successful spring and just like taking it all in at once was amazing. When did you get, when did you tear the ACL or, or wreck the knee? When, when so, was that? So I uh, tweaked my MPFL um, and had MPFL reconstruction. Same thing DeMarco Murray had, my coach. Um, so he kind of talked me into getting the surgery. I did it um, last day of fall camp and I also did spring ball. So they decided to do the surgery on me um, the day before the Arkansas State game. And, uh, and so the rehab for that was pretty difficult. Um, you know, a, a big grind for sure. But like I said, just trusting in the Lord. And I put in so much work into rehab to where I was really able to just have like the utmost amount of confidence going into this spring. Like I had, like not once did I think that I had a surgery or was injured. I was just able to play free because I put in the work. And when, when did you get fully cleared to do whatever? I got fully cleared um, mid-February, uh, really right on time, maybe maybe a little ahead of schedule. I'm not really sure, but I definitely worked my tail off to get there. So being back for the coaching stations was when I came back um, with Coach Schmitty, and it was a blessing because that's, that's where everybody gets gritty, gets tough. And I want to be there with my teammates and kind of go through that with them. I don't want to I don't want to miss out on that and then just be here for spring ball. So being back for that was big for me, and it was kind of my goal since I got hurt in fall camp was to be back for the coaching station. So I'm glad I could. Being from Norman, was that kind of a surreal moment getting into the end zone here at the stadium? Uh, it definitely was. Um, the whole game, you know, I'm, I'm just you know thinking, you know, I knew I was going to get my time, and I knew coach was going to you know put the ball in my hands eventually. And I really just wanted to prove, you know, a lot of people right. A lot of people believed in me from this town and told me that I could I could do it. And, and they were all coming to support me. And the whole game, I'm like, you know, I'm going to make y'all proud whenever I get the ball in my hands. And as soon as I saw the, the edge get sealed, I'm like, all right, let's, let's do it. And just as soon as, I, as soon as I scored, just flooded with emotion, just flooded with excitement. And really, once again, just like blessed that the, the Lord gave me that opportunity, gave me a team that wanted to support me like that. And and uh, allowed the O-line to pick up an amazing, amazing block for me. Who, Who else was here to watch you today? Do what? Who else was here to watch you today? Uh, today I had I had grandparents, cousins, um, friends from my high school, um, really just like the whole community. Like they had all texted me that they were gonna come. Um, family from Ada, from McAllister, you know, all across Oklahoma really just wanted to come support me. and. The whole game, I just wanted to make them proud, and and I was just I was just grateful that I finally had the opportunity to do so. And like being underneath the crowd, you mentioned the family and everything, and kind of being around it. Did it live up to the hype that maybe you envisioned at all, or was it kind of different? Or? It's it's crazy. Um, I've been on a lot of big stages, you know, in my life because of wrestling. Um, I've competed on stages in front of people, in front of massive amounts of crowds, but. That, that 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 was something special being out on that field today. I haven't seen you know, and, and of course it's going to be way more packed. Game one, um, it's going to be eighty thousand, eighty five thousand strong. But having all those people there, um, you know, a, a bunch of people that are like believe in the brand, believe in the Sooners. Um, it it's like it's so special. Like every time you step on that field, it's just like I just took it all in when I ran out there. I'm so grateful that I'm just healthy, um, that I was able to play. Um, once again, like I'm, I'm thankful that God put me in that position, and really, really a surreal moment. But like I said, like I've been in the situations before, and I know when the lights come on that I can perform, and that's something that God blessed me with. I'm thankful for Him for doing that, and 
And uh, and so I, I, I felt pretty good about the end when they wanted to put the ball in my hands. Thank you.